Today I was actually cleaning out my pantry and I realized that some of my sweet potatoes were starting to grow more potatoes, so we're gonna turn these potatoes into a dessert. So we're gonna need just a couple of large sweet potatoes. The processes, all we need to do is chop off the ends if they're a little weird, get these guys peeled and cleaned up. After you clean these up, we're gonna go ahead and cut these into small one inch size pieces. They don't have to be perfect. The reason why I'm cutting them is so they boil just a little bit more quickly. And I'm using a wok to boil this because after my boy David Chang said that a wok is the best boiling tool, I believed him. So we're gonna boil these until they're nice and soft. What you really are looking for is for them to be fork tender. Fork tender means you take a potato, insert the fork. If it goes in clean, it's ready to go. Once those are fork tender, we're gonna drain these really well. We want these to be free of any excess liquid before we add them to the food processor. So go ahead and dump these into your favorite food processor. You will need one for this. Then we're gonna take about seven to eight dates. These are mesh dual dates that have been pitted. And the reason why I'm using dates is because I want the sweetness to come from the dates rather than sugar. Go ahead and give those a nice rough chop and add them directly to your sweet potato. Get this thing locked and loaded and give it a good blend. Reblend this for about three to four minutes until it starts to look like, well, it looks like baby food, but you wanna make sure everything is totally pureed. Now to get that nice chocolatey flavor, we're gonna be using some Dutch cocoa powder. This is just a brand that I have on hand. Use whatever cocoa powder you would like. We're gonna start off with one tablespoon worth of cocoa powder and then puree this until all of that cocoa powder is totally emulsified. Go ahead and scrape down the sides just to make sure everything is playing really nicely together and then we're gonna add in a second tablespoon of cocoa powder. I add the two tablespoons separately, but you can probably add them at one time. You just wanna make sure everything is thoroughly combined. Give this a little bit of an inspection and just make sure you don't see any pockets of cocoa powder. Now for secret ingredient, Chemical X. We're gonna be using chocolate protein powder for this. This is gonna give it a really nice protein boost, but also further that chocolate flavor. Now, because I want these to be completely vegan, I am using AP protein, but feel free to use whatever protein powder you would like. If you're not going for a vegan thing, you can add eggs to this as well. Just make sure it's not hot when you add those eggs. Now everything is nice and smooth and pureed, but this won't bake properly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty this into a nice sauce pot and we're gonna cook this over the stove so it's not as wet. We're gonna cook this over the stove for about 15 minutes over a medium heat. And you do wanna pay attention to it because it does cook very quickly. What you're looking to do is be able to scrape the bottom up so that way when you move the spatula through it, the mixture does not automatically fall back into place. Now I also took a small portion of that mixture and placed it into a small lined cake pan. I cooled this down for about 10 to 15 minutes just to see if it would set up without baking it. This didn't work out as well, it is still really wet. So we are going to bake this in another lined pan. I also added another portion of my protein powder. So this is three total portions of the protein powder. I added this third portion while it was cooling down so that way it thickened it up. In addition to some really hot peanut butter that I microwaved just to loosen up a little bit. I wanted that peanut butter flavor in there but the fats are also gonna solidify and it tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup at this point. So now that we have our final form of the batter, we're gonna go ahead and place this into an eight by eight lined pan. Just go ahead and dump everything into your pan. You don't have to grease this at all. It'll be totally fine. Spread this out and tamp it down to make sure it's as even as possible for when we start to bake it. We're gonna bake this in the oven at 325 degrees for about 25 minutes. After those 25 minutes, what we wanna do is take a knife or a toothpick and test to see if it comes out clean. This did not come out clean, so we're gonna pop this back into the oven for an additional 10 to 15 minutes until, again, it comes out clean. After those 10 to 15 minutes, you can see that it is cracked a little bit. I don't even have to poke it at all. I can tell that this is done. We gotta let this cool for a little while before we decide to actually cut it. So we're gonna put this to the side, just put it, just don't touch it, leave it alone, leave it alone. After a couple of hours, I actually come back to this to get this cut up. It looks really nice, it looks like it hasn't deflated very much, and we wanna get nine even pieces out of these brownies, or just cut it in half, make yourself a taco, I don't care, do what you wanna do at that point. But I wanna get nine portions of this, and truth be told, it looks like a really nice, cakey brownie peanut butter chocolate brownie, mind you. This is a protein packed snack and we gotta get a picture for the gram. Chikink. There it is guys, our sweet potato and protein chocolate brownies. Now I will admit, I wanted to make this because I wanted a little bit of a sweet snack that I could eat and not feel bad before a workout. And this is that thing. It's 100% vegan, we use the pea protein for this. We just use the dates to sweeten it. We use the sweet potatoes to make it nice and thick boy. And I mean, it's a little cakey if you like cakey brownies, but the texture doesn't look too bad. Now, uh, and plus I can smell the peanut butter. Pretty excited about it, it's still warm.
definitely needs milk, like a significant amount of milk. A lot of the peanut butter and chocolate flavors come through and the sweet potato does give it this really nice texture to it. At this point, this is basically a homemade protein bar. Throw some nuts in it, put some caramel on it, make regular brownies, you do you. Have you ever made sweet potato brownies before? Let me know in the comments down below. This is probably only the second time that I've done this and I had to get rid of some sweet potatoes. My name is Chef PK, I hope I taught you something today. Get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food because then we do weird things like this. Lucian, do not eat the brownies.